Do you think you know Man of Steel? Well, here's 15 things you may not have known about the Superman reboot. Superman? The alien, sir. That, that's what they're calling him, Superman. Man of Steel is not the first time the Superman series has been rebooted. A Superman reboot has been on the Warner Brothers' mind since 1987's fiasco, Superman 4, The Quest for Peace. A fifth Superman, titled Superman The New Movie, was planned and scrapped. In 1995, Superman Reborn, which would have been based off the death of Superman comics, was written and scrapped. In 1996, Kevin Smith was hired to write Superman Lives, a new Superman film where producer John Peters wanted the Man of Steel to wear an all-black suit, not fly, and fight a giant spider. In 1997, Superman Lives entered pre-production with Tim Burton directing and Nicolas Cage as Kal-El. Warner Brothers wanted to change the name back to Superman Reborn and cut the budget in half, but ultimately scrapped the project. A script for Batman vs Superman was pitched in 2002, but was dropped in order to make individual Batman and Superman films. In 2002, J.J. Abrams was hired to write a new screenplay titled Superman Flyby. The project was greenlit with director Mick G at the helm and Robert Downey Jr. as Superman nemesis Lex Luthor. When Mick G left the project, J.J. Abrams lobbied to direct, but the studio chose Brian Singer, who then pitched his idea for Superman Returns. What's the S stand for? It's not an S. On my world, it means hope. Well, here it's an S. In 2008, Warner Brothers was again interested in rebooting the Superman series, stating that Superman Returns did not work the way that they had wanted it to. Guillermo del Toro and Robert Zemeckis were approached to direct, but declined. Ben Affleck, Darren Aronofsky, Duncan Jones, Matt Reeves, and Tony Scott were considered as potential directors. Zack Snyder was hired in October of 2010. Joe Manganiello was considered to play Superman, but was unavailable due to scheduling obligations with True Blood. Henry Cable was originally cast in Superman Flyby in 2004, but lost the role when the film became Superman Returns. Brian Singer considered him for Superman Returns, but instead cast Brandon Routh. British-born Henry Cable is the first non-American to play Clark Kent. Amy Adams has auditioned for the role of Lois Lane in three different Superman films, Superman Flyby, Superman Returns, and Man of Steel. In order to pack on the muscle mass to portray the last son of Krypton, Henry Cable consumed nearly 5,000 calories a day, trained for over two hours a day, and reached a body fat level of 7%, which is the same level as a professional bodybuilder reaches during a competition. I just think he's kind of hot. Viggo Mortensen was considered for the role of Zod. Sean Penn and Clive Owen were considered to play Jor-El. Man of Steel was distributed to theaters under the title Skyrim. Although there's some blatant company logos in the film, here's two you may have missed. This tanker has a LexCorp logo on it, LexCorp is owned by Superman nemesis Lex Luthor, and this satellite has a Wayne Enterprises logo on it. Wayne Enterprises is owned by Batman alter ego Bruce Wayne. Speaking of Batman, when Superman is facing off against Zod, there's a sign that says, keep calm and call Batman. Batman could totally take Zod. Tell me, do you bleed? You will. And here's a bonus one. The film was released in June 2013, the 75th anniversary of Superman. That's it for this episode of You Think You Know Movies. Make sure to subscribe, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and get the latest movie and TV news on ScreenCrush.com.